Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A lot of stuff happened today in FIFA Ultimate Team, and I want to talk about it with you guys today. Talking about the Bundesliga upgrades, um, talking about the new La Le or Liga Nos team of the season, and talking about what is Icon Refresh. There's been stuff being talked about on Twitter. I want to address that today and basically just cover all the content that came out today because there was a lot of it. There was a lot of stuff in FIFA that came out today, and I want to talk about it. Um, especially starting with these SBCs and how this relates to the market. But this is the first one that I've opened. I'm going to give it a look, and I get an 83-rated Campbell. Okay, so I have not done many of these player picks. I believe Bundesliga rares uh, did not rise much, and this was something I was really watching today uh, because I told you guys the last two days, I said, hey, I don't feel like a lot of these Bundesliga rares are going to rise up much, and at the moment, it looks like that a lot of them are the same price um, or maybe up 100 to 200 coins. So a lot of these guys didn't really rise, um, which tells me that way a, a lot of people actually invested in these. This guy's right now at 2.1. So, you know, some of them have gone up 100 k or 100 coins, 200 coins, and a lot of them have just stayed the same price because people are trying to sell these and make profit. The people that bought lower are making profit. The people that bought in the last couple days are definitely not making profit. So that's why um, I told you guys to wait on these. So if you bought early enough, you know, if you bought around a thousand coins, you're chilling. But the rest of us, if, it, if there was any of you out there that bought these um, at like 1,900, 1,800 coins, I mean, you're really not making anything with these guys going only going up to 2K. At least it wasn't worth your investment, basically, is what I was saying. So um, I'm going to do some of these player picks, like the, the, the Bundesliga ones, even though I tweeted out today and I really feel like they are not good value. Um, I'm going to be... I'm going to, you know, take the hit, I guess, as you could say, because I need to do upgrade packs during this promo. And I watched some people open these today and they were actually pretty decent. I don't know if you guys saw my tweet earlier today, but literally one of my friends sent me this earlier today. Check this out. He's, th this is what he sent me, man. He sent me the first upgrade pack that he did because I was, of course, I tweeted out. I was like, yo, these upgrades are not good value. My guy goes, did one upgrade, used a couple 84s and even an 85 Berkey because that's all I had. And he gets 99 Lewandowski. Crazy. I've seen multiple people pack Team of the Seasons from this SBC pack, which I, originally when I saw this come out today, I was like, yo, we're turning in 11 rare golds for a pick of one. A pick of one. It really does not make any sense. Um, like from a value standpoint, you're turning in 11 rare golds that go for 2,000 coins a piece. So like 22,000 coins for this pack to get one card in return. It's the biggest scam of an upgrade pack I've ever seen, but they actually give out. So I'm going to try a few of them this week. If they're not that good, I really just want to see the card walk out of the pack, man. I really just want to see. That's the, the second biggest problem I have with this upgrade SBC is that you can't actually watch the card uh, through the pack animation. Like you don't get to see the blue lights, get the, you know, get hype for the nation. All of a sudden you just see the card pop up in front of you. That kills some of the hype in my opinion. Uh, but I'm still going to do some of these this week. I'm going to probably drop more coins for Thursday when we have the premium Bundesliga upgrades for the 25k pack. I'm really going to save some coins for that uh, because I feel like those are going to be really grindable. And since there's a lot of lower tier cards in the Bundesliga, I feel like I might be able to get some more out of gold upgrades this week than I have in past weeks. So I'm really going to grind on Thursday and try to get a lot of these done, Since especially since, since I don't have rewards. I'm going to try to drop a bunch of coins into these for uh, the Bundesliga Tots cards because I want to get this Tots counter. I want to get that sucker above 40, you know? Get get a chance at Werner, Lewandowski, all those guys. So, again, just because this SBC is not good, EA has somehow like rigged it or yeah coded it that it is giving out pretty good players. So I've seen a lot of people tweet out today they're getting good stuff. And then it's going to draw people to go and do more of these SBCs for sure. I think you're going to see a lot more people try to go out, get themselves a Haaland, a Royce. So I think you're going to see a lot of hype around these, even though they seem to be bad value. At least for the first couple days, I feel like they have enough hype to um, keep people interested. And you're going to see people complete these SBCs throughout the week. The 83 plus, I guess what I would do with the 83 plus is if you're getting some 82s and 83s from the Bundesliga uh, and you're done crafting what other, other, what other ever SBCs you want, let's say you want to do Coutinho, let's say you want to do this Luis Diaz that came today, uh, or Witzel if you haven't done him yet. If you're crafting any SBCs, do those first, and then maybe you throw your 82s and 83s into this 83 plus upgrade. 
and maybe try one or two of those. I know some people, again, it's kind of like on a per account basis, it seems. Some people's accounts are like rigged with the 83 pluses and they give out insane cards. And then other people's accounts are really rigged with these. So I would say try your luck. A few of these, you know, drop. If you don't have a ton of coins, if you got like 500K, maybe just try like one or two of these um, and then move on from there. And maybe like say if you can make 20 or 30K from trading, allow yourself to do one, um, you know, something like that. But uh, that's kind of a, it was kind of a bummer of an upgrade. But now that we're seeing that these do sort of give out, just test the luck yourself. I'm going to be doing some, especially today on stream. Um, and we'll be trying that out for sure. But along with that, that was the big info from today, right? There was a lot of stuff that happened in FIFA today uh, on Monday, to be honest. This was the second biggest thing. Liga Nos, team of the season. Our boy Alex Tellez was extinct at 550K. And I tweeted out, I was like, hey, another extinct left back at 550K. He wasn't actually extinct for long. Um, he's now 488. But again, these guys have literally the only tradable supply that these guys got today were from whatever promo packs are in the store. No lightning rounds and no tradable uh, SBCs have hit yet. So I would expect a lot of these guys to continue dropping. I feel like since Tellez is already 488, this guy is going to probably be somewhere around the 300k range at some point. A lot of these guys are cheap already, but they're probably going to drop a bit more, you know, depending on the rating. 91 Diaz for 53k, that's pretty cheap. Uh, Tarot looks pretty dope. So this is like one of the better lower leagues. And I feel like there's some cool cards in here, but nothing like super duper insane. But I think the Tellez, the Tarot, maybe the Rafa and Pizzi were, were guys, uh, were people that uh, a lot of the community was really pumped with. Even Gabriel and uh, Vinicius look pretty dope too. So uh, if you want to get any of these for your team, or if you want to try any of them out, definitely wait until this coming weekend when they get hit with lighting rounds. Kind of like what we saw with the Super League cards that went out of packs today at 6 p.m. UK. These guys, um, Mariano's already up 5K. Nice. Visca is up a little bit. And Cruz is up a little bit as well. GG's, man. So we made some of those buys yesterday. They're already starting to go up a little bit in price. Hopefully those keep rising if you got in on some of those. Um, but that was basically the content for today on like the player side of things. There was a couple, oh, there was an objective as well. There was a Jeremy Mateu objective. And again, I, I tweeted this out today as well. I said, hey, I feel like the most hyped days on FIFA in team this season, it's Monday, it's Thursday, and Friday. Those are like the only hype days on FIFA now during a normal week. Like the weekends, everybody's just playing foot champs. The content is okay. Maybe we get an SBC on one of the other days, but you know, we have the Monday upgrades. Everybody looks for Thursday rewards and upgrades. Uh, I guess the guaranteed SBC, which has some hype in there, but then you have Friday with the new tot squad, man. It's really just other than those Things that are happening during the week, there's just not a ton going on. But today was one of those big days. We got a Mateu objective, which is nice if you need some French links for maybe your Telez left back that you might get. So that's an, a decent card. You need to throw a chem style on him to get that pace up. Uh, he looks pretty good except for his jumping, which you maybe don't need because he's six foot two. Um, but also his uh, acceleration is pretty low. I think it's 74 acceleration. So if that's an objective that uh, matters to you, go ahead and grind it. But if it doesn't, I would say maybe just stay away um from that and then also foot drafts have been absolutely juiced um because what whatever ea did today and i'm not going to start one up but a lot of you guys maybe have seen this on twitter people have been talking about winter or icon refresh not winter refresh that was a promo a couple months ago icon refresh people some of the leakers on twitter have been talking about and a lot of guys uh like i told you guys to wait on buying your abundance league out of pack special cards i said you to wait um, not because I knew this was coming. I don't have leaks and I don't know anything about icon SBCs. I don't know what this icon refresh is. Uh, but all I know is icons on this game are so highly valued. People in the FIFA community just love icons for, you know, for what they are. Even right now, when it seems like icons have no hype, like a lot of these guys, like the Rio Ferdinand, dude, this, this Rio Ferdinand card was 2 million coins for the longest time. And I'm pretty sure this guy's a mill 1.07. And the prime Rio uh, is 900K, excuse me, not 900K, 600K. This dude is 600, 500,000 coins, 589 for prime Rio. What the heck? Uh, so again, a lot of these cards have dropped off because of team of the season cards coming out. And, you know, a lot of people have better stats that are in team of the season than these icons do. But I think if they do something this week with icons, it's going to be game breaking. There's going to be panic selling across the market. If there is some type of big content, whether it's an SBC, 
um, or they put something in packs or whatever they're going to do. If it is icon related and it's something SBC related, I think you're going to see big time drops on the market because people just love getting icons in their club on this game. You see how many people are willing to do the mid icon SBC just on a whim. People love these icon upgrades. Maybe uh, what is going to come out on this Wednesday is just like a prime icon upgrade mid and a base. I don't know what they're going to do with it, but something supposedly is coming Wednesday with the icons and that's really all that I know because that's what the people are saying on Twitter and I feel like I need to talk to you guys about that because that is a big big thing for this market again icons are very important to this market and I want you to be careful with your investing so some of these out of packs Bundesliga cards have gone up already I told you guys to wait on these um, and I think we want to continue waiting until Wednesday because Wednesday even if these prices are inflated a little bit, like Kingsley Coleman, I bought one last night. I did a very small amount of investing. I bought this guy for 109. This guy was 130 at one point earlier today. Right now he's, he's about 120. Um, but people already started buying up these Bundesliga special cards. If there is something that comes out on Wednesday that is big for this game, you're going to see a lot of people panic sell these and go do whatever it is uh, with the icon refresh coming uh, on, on Wednesday. So what I would say to that is, if you're going to wait, if you're going to invest in Bundesliga special cards, I would wait. Um, the only thing I think you might be able to do, uh, maybe to prepare for something that is icon SBC related, if that's the way they're going to go with this. Again, I really do not have any idea. Um, the only thing that I would do is maybe do a club stock of the 86, 87, 88, 89s, which we talked about on the weekend. These guys are still pretty cheap, but if they do release some big time SBCs, if they bring back pl icon player SBCs, which they said they weren't going to do, but who knows? Um, maybe just go through and club stock these. If you've got a lot of coins, I would say go ahead and do that. If you don't, I would say just chill. Just chill. Try to make some coins this week. Um, a lot of these cards are fluctuating. These team of the seasons are actually fluctuating a ton every single day. So I'm going to be watching these tonight to see if I can possibly make a flip on any of them. Uh, because even what's from Sunday night squad battles into Monday... Uh, a lot of these guys, I'll show you the graph. Check this out. Alfonso Davies went from 394 back up to 430. Uh, and that's not a crazy amount of profit. Other cards moved more, but that's still uh, a profitable movement, right? So he was up to 430. Right now he's 410. You know, I mean, these guys are going to continue to fluctuate. If you find a guy that drops, uh, you know, 15%, maybe 10 to 15%, that's something that you can look at because people are trying out these Bundes cards and they're using them. These Timo Werner fluctuates a ton. This might be a guy you could trade with, right? He's 1.4 mil right now. What did he do in price yesterday? He went from 1.3 up to 1.425. So he went up 100K from his lowest point during squad battles. And he's kind of just chilling right now. So he hasn't really gone down, at least on the, um, actually on both consoles. He was 1.25 on Xbox and he's still 1.2. So just kind of watch these cards, man. I just feel like there's a potential for a big amount of panic selling later on this week and that's what i wanted to emphasize to you guys the most in this video today is the fact that later this week if they do bring out some sort of icon sbc where you're trading in your coins for a untradeable icon people are going to do it um supposedly right now in foot draft again i mentioned this a little bit earlier but foot drafts are juiced with icon weight and if you remember back to earlier this year it was right before icon moments came out in fifa um, when they first came out, it was like February 13th or February 14th. I was going back and looking at some old YouTube videos and tweets about this one at a random time in the evening, the day before the icon moments came out, the amount of icons that were in foot drafts were absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if you remember this. I mean, it was in February. I, I saw people on Twitter like, yo, I just did a draft and I got like 11 icons in my entire uh squad and i went into the draft and i posted a picture on twitter um i don't have the time to go find that right now but that's kind of what's happening right now they also put like sbc players into uh into foot draft which is interesting and cool uh but foot draft got uh got some love today as well with the daily sbc the bundesliga challenge where's it at this sbc right here giving out a draft token pack which is giving you a draft token so ea is trying to push you to play draft so the some for some reason they want you to get into draft and they want you to play with icons is what i, I it, it seems to me is what they're trying to do and that's what they did lat in february when they said hey all these cards you know 
are in draft and the weight on them is really, really high. Like the icon weight on the cards you get in draft was really high. So that makes me feel like there definitely is something coming related with icons since we saw that last February or this February with the icon weight being increased in um, in the drafts and now it's being increased again. So that's something I find very interesting. Also, this end of an era De Rossi card um, was I think now in concepts or something. It's, for some reason, this card showed up on Footbin today. I don't know where this is in the game. My guess is that it is in uh, foot draft and that's why it's in the game. I really don't know, but my guess is this is in foot draft. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments, but this is another card that showed up today. And then Luis Diaz, I didn't even talk about him yet. Luis Diaz, an SBC that we got today, 90 rated left mid. If you're a Porto guy or a Colombian, you like putting together a, a Colombian team. This dude looks pretty solid. Four star, four star. He's pacey. He's got high agility, high, high balance, actually not high balance, just high agility, good composure. Uh, it just looks like a nice Colombian left wing. And I think all it requires is an 84 rated squad. So very craftable for a 90 rated card at the very least. If you're doing upgrade SBCs at some point this week. So I'm a fan of that one. I'm a fan of this SBC in here. Two days remaining. So, you know, not a ton of time to craft, but uh, decent value in my opinion. So again, if you're waiting to do some investing later on this week, I think that's the move. Out of packs, Bundesliga cards, we're still going to look at them. But if there's going to be a lot of panic on Wednesday with the guaranteed uh, Bundesliga Tots SBC and with whatever icon refresh is going to be, I would not be spending a lot of your coins right now because I would expect a really, really big crash in the market if it's something SBC related. If it's just draft and they're just upping the weight in draft and they put out like a kid SBC or what, I don't know if they just make a whole mess of it and it's just a big flop honestly um, then I wouldn't see any hype and I would feel like maybe there's a bit of a sell-off headed into the promo then once we see that nothing happened then stuff would rebound but if there is something that drops on a Wednesday that is big time icon related with a decent amount of hype especially if it's some sort of SBC I do feel like you'll see a lot of the market even team of the seasons will fall in price a lot of these out of pack specials will fall in price so I'm kind of waiting until Wednesday to see what happens and of course the guaranteed SBC is that day anyway so I would expect maybe see these cards not really rise up too much until then and especially as the word spreads around about this whatever icon refresh is going to be I would uh, steer clear of a boys I honestly would steer clear just kind of sit back look do a couple upgrade SBCs you can still trade honestly you can still trade because these guys fluctuate every day this Coman card was so you saw you saw Excuse me. You saw this guy right here sold for 132,000 coins at one point earlier today. Uh, this is a really rare card and it's probably going to get listed on open bid. Boom. There's an open bid right there. If I can win this on open bid for like 110, 115,000 coins or even catch a snipe like around ooh, 114. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to pick that up right now because I know I can probably sell that at 130 at some point especially with the left forward position change. So you can do uh, this quick flipping literally still on the market because people are still buying cards. You know, 16,000 coins here, I would make uh, like six, seven K on this card right here after tax. So that's a nice little bit of a trade. You can still do that kind of stuff all the time on the market right now. You don't have to be afraid of that. Just have to be afraid of a lot of prices dropping uh, on Wednesday with whatever sort of information we start to get with whatever icon, refresh is but in the meantime if you guys are doing these upgrades let me know all right this is my team sorry i didn't mean to click on that um i want to get uh untradeable tell as team of the season by the way i'm going to be doing some of the 83 pluses i think just to see if i can pack myself that uh tell as i was really hoping for the 81 plus from last week because i wanted to do packs for tell but i think the only way i'll be able to get him is maybe from the 83 plus upgrade Though I will do some of those and then maybe from a gold upgrade as well. But if you're doing these Bundesliga upgrades, let me know down in the comments what you get if you get anything sick. Of course, tweet me if you get anything sick as well because I love seeing you guys get good pack pulls. I'll be opening some of these on stream this week as well. That link is down in the description as well. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.